up guys welcome back to my channel Roger Gaming on this episode we're going to be working on um, my, my 08 Dodge Ram 3500 I, um, I yesterday I went to go to get a haircut and I drove there fine on my way back it actually threw a code um, so let me get my code reader and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about So let me plug this thing in and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. There it is. Okay. Now here's the... Okay. There's one code. P0336. So that's my code. Now I googled it uh, to see what the code was. I have another scanner that would have told me but... I looked at the code, it was a crankshaft position sensor, so we are going to replace that. So here we go, I got my creeper, and see here's a new crankshaft position sensor, and yeah. I'm doing this right now because it's late and I use this truck for everything so I need this thing up and running ASAP. I've had this truck for about, I don't know, a um, few years now. I've never had any issues. This is the first time I've ever had to replace something. But that's it. There's three prongs in there. I'm sure the clip just pops out. Um, it's got one bolt. I'm not sure what it is. It's probably eight or a ten. And now we got to find it. Okay, let me use my creeper. Okay, I think I found it. Yep. Okay, so I see it. Hopefully you guys can see it too. It's right up there. See the cog? So these little teeth. Man, these things are real rusty. But right there, I'm not sure if you guys can see it in the camera where I'm pointing, I'm actually touching it. And it looks like it's a uh, like an Allen key. See it? Hopefully you guys can see it. Right there. Mm -hmm. That's it right there. So that little plug, I'm gonna have to unplug it, and that's gonna be it. So I'm gonna take the plug off first. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm trying to set it up so the camera can see everything I'm doing here. You know what? I'm gonna bring that other light over here. Man, yeah, because I guess on the other Dodge trucks, it's um, it's over there by the oil pan. At least, well, the oil pan's right here, but it's near the back. And I guess this truck's a little different. So it's right next to this guy. See the plugs are right here. I'm actually touching it. And it's got a little red tab, so I'm guessing I have to. Push the tab over. Okay, now you got 
gotta push the tab down and out. So, here we go, push the tab down and out. Okay. I hope I didn't leave the key in the ignition. I don't think so. already loose, it's just the sensor doesn't have very much slack. Alright, so here's the plug. Okay. And so the plug's loose. Now we gotta get the Okay, so let's see what size that is. Um, is this one so four? Maybe six over here. Yep. So it's a six, six millimeter. It's one of these um, hex bit socket. So. It's a five, I'm sorry, it's a five millimeter. The one that's missing, so four, five, six, so it's five. Next bit socket. Alright. Now let's take that sucker out. Looks like pretty short. Yeah, mine's pretty rusty. Okay. Alrighty, I'm gonna take my sensor out. how it 
video now. Man, it's not saying all of them, you know? Let me see. Man, it's actually touching. What the hell? Touching the cog. Cog wheel. I think it's because there's so much rust and dirt. Oh man. If I turn this truck on, it's gonna tear up that sensor. Shoot. And I think it's because there's so much dirt and grime on top of the cog teeth. There we go. Okay. It's nice hand tight, not too tight, because you could actually strip it. Especially how rusty it is. Forget it. Forget nightmare. Next time you want to replace it. Alright, put the plug in. There we go. There's something. Something's working. Alright. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna show you guys what the heck I was doing see so it's right that clear plug right here and what I was talking about with the cog you see these teeth these teeth they got there's rust and dirt all over them you see how close that is the sensor is and that cog right there I'm sure you guys, I'm sure you guys can see it but yeah, it's close. And when I put it in there, it was like touching that thing. So, but, you know, I put it in there. I guess once I actually set it with the screw, it kind of pushed the sensor back a little bit with the with the bolt that went in. So it actually left a tiny little gap the way it's supposed to be. But, uh, yeah, I think that's it. And plug well, right, right there. You guys can see it. Simple. Like I said, this is an 08 Dodge Ram 3500 uh, two wheel drive. So, let's see if uh, it works. Yeah, that thing is nasty. I'm sure you guys can see it, but. Jesus. I'm not surprised. Actually, it looks like it, the teeth were. Oh no, it's just full of dirt. It's probably, it's probably still works. I would have cleaned it up. Oh, here's my scanner. Damn, I think I did leave the keys in there. 
see. Didn't I? Yep, sure did. No wonder it was making noises. Now it's got one code. Um, I think I'm gonna have to erase it. Sometimes you can erase it and it'll, it should stay away. If it if you if it worked, and you erase it, it shouldn't come back. But I really don't want to erase it. I kind of want to see if it goes away on its own. But I didn't have any issues. Some people say they have uh, when that throws that code, it'll misfire a little bit. No? Yeah, my truck runs good. Okay, so man, I don't want to erase the code and then plug it one more time. Turn the key on. See if it went away because I turned it on. I doubt it. I think I'd have to drive it. I'd have to drive it around and then it would probably go away. Or you could erase the code and if it doesn't come right back, that means you fixed it. So, uh, I don't want to erase it, but I, I think I'm going to. It's the easiest route. There we go. To figure out if it worked or not. No, it's still there. Okay, let's erase it. Erase. Yes, I want to erase. Done. Okay. So I erased it. Um. Let me turn this radio. Okay, let's zero code. Okay. I'm gonna unplug everything. Take the key out. Okay, now I'm going to turn it on. I had an engine light on. It's, it's definitely gone now. But I just erased it, so... I think it worked, because... Like I said, if it was still bad, it would have came back. Um, so I don't see it coming back. I'm pretty sure it's fixed. No codes coming back. Let's scan it one more time. And if it hasn't came back, that means it's good. Fixed. Man, because mine's got this brake, this trailer brake thing, and it's right in the way. I'm gonna plug this thing in. Okay. So let's see if it came back. Zero codes. Nice. Okay, so it's fixed. Sweet. Alright guys. That was pretty much it. Um Yeah, that was it. One bolt. It was a five millimeter. Um and that was that hex bit. If you guys have any questions, comments, um, let me know. Leave it in the description. I'll try to get you, get back to you guys. Um but yeah, give me that thumbs up. Let me know how I'm doing. Take it easy, guys.